school for African-American students in New Orleans. For over 80 years, McDonough 35 has produced some of New Orleans' finest and brightest students, including those in the senior class of 1998, which has received over $3 million in scholarships to date. In the class of 1998, we have many students who have achieved to the highest level. Alan Powell is a National Merit Finalist for 1998. Alan Powell, Adrenda Kelly, and Micah Pittman are the National Achievement Finalists for 98. Siobhan Charlo is a National Achievement Semi-Finalist. Siobhan is also recognized as the New Orleans Public School High School Student of the Year, third place winner. Mr. Jim Brando is the coordinator for students at the center. This is a group of students who write intensively and organize community action projects. Many seniors such from students at the center, such as Siobhan Charlo, Adrenda Kelly, Alan Powell, Kelly Bajon, Sean Upshaw, and Leslie Kazare. Other students involved in student at the center, such as Trinessa Walton, were responsible for making the 1811 Slave Revolt commemoration a grand success. She will be traveling to, to New Mexico to perform their play for Native Americans. Miss Andrea Walker is a member of the Science Department. She is the winner of the 1997-98 Presidential Award. She will be honored at a luncheon in Washington, D.C. this summer. Under her instruction are the senior winners of the Greater New Orleans Science Fair. Andrea Augustus received recognition of the New Orleans Association in Medicine. Rachel Williams received third place in Computer Literacy. Latrice Foster won first in gerontology. In the District Literary Rally, Adrenda Kelly placed first in environmental science. Chad Charles placed fourth in environmental science. And Siobhan Charlo placed sixth also in environmental science. The class of 1998 also shines in the athletic department. Clyde Pratt, Talman Gardner, and Darren Franklin have all received athletic scholarships. The Ron Eagle football team are district champs. We were undefeated 7-0 in our district. Our girls volleyball team are also district champs. Rachel Williams and Claudine Davalier, president and vice president of the senior class, is in charge of handling all senior activities. Together, they've helped the class raise over $2,200 toward their activities. McDonough 35 has many ways of getting students involved. One of the ways is our excellent variety of performing groups. These performing groups also strive in excellence. The Ron Eagle Marching Band has participated in community projects such as the Treme Center Parade and the Martin Luther King Jr. Parade. Aside from marching, the band also shines in concert music. This year, the concert band received three superior ratings from the Superintendent's Festival, including the Outstanding Music Program of the Year. The concert band received superior ratings at LMEA and Excellent in Sight Reading. The band is under the, under the direction of Mr. Herman Jones. Mrs. Veronica Downs Darcy is the director of the Gospel Soul Children. She is also the director of the McDonough 35 Gospel Choir, which received superior ratings at this year's Superintendent's Fest. You may observe the McDonough 35 Gospel Choir performing at, well -known, at the well-known Jazz Fest. Other performing groups also strive to be the best as well. The Eaglets received superior ratings last month in Orlando, Florida. The Modern Dance Team placed first at the New Orleans Spirit Camp. The Double Trouble Flag Team is another recipient of superior ratings at this year's camp. The McDonough 35 Student Council was very active this year. The Student Council entered McDonough 35 in the Coca-Cola Contest. The purpose of this year's contest was to find a unique way to distribute Coca-Cola cards. The Student Council hosted a luau, and any student dressed in Hawaiian attire received the card. This year, one of our outstanding senior art students Kelly Crosby painted a gorgeous mirror on the second floor hallway of McDonough 35 Senior High School. The class of 1998 has chosen the motto, Together we stand so very high. We have earned our wings and now we fly. As we all know, we have to work hard in life in order to succeed. The class of 1998 has worked real hard to earn our wings so that we may fly to higher heights in the future.